um, black everything, let me see, you got nap. So funny, whites are murdered by blacks more every year than the other way around. Now I get to hear some brainwashed white, oh, that's a naughty word, I can't say that on here. Lecture me that low IQ blacks with a first grade education are some, oh, you couldn't even finish. I'm so sad for you. Well, you know what? Here's the bottom line. What you're talking about right now is an ahistorical perspective, I wanna say. I mean, no offense intended, but you, you clearly don't know history, and I get that. Oh, educated are, blah, 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 first grade are suppressed. Do you know, let me, let me make a list for you really quick, because I can't dwell on people who have that kind of attitude, and I won't, because you're really not really supposed to be here, but I will help school you a little bit. And, and also, just to clarify, you don't have to listen to me. <laughs> this is a voluntary process, unless somebody's like making you, or I don't know, maybe your wife's making you or your husband, I don't know, I hope not. But this is a voluntary process, leave any time, but stay if you want. Um, the thing is, I know people who think like you and it's very convenient and it keeps you very safe and, and, and you know, there's a, there's a lot to it. There's a lot of psychological stuff. There's a lot of sociological things going on. The bottom line is what I hear you saying is that you've never studied our real racial history. And I don't mean that as an insult. It's a lot. Most people haven't like probably 98% of all, you know, if you don't know what redlining is, if you don't know what the devil's punch bowl is, if you don't know what sundown towns are, if you don't know the origins of the police in America, if you don't know what de jure and de facto segregation are uh, and laws and, like, you know, if you don't know the <laughs> the real history of the KKK, there's just so much. I could go on and on and on. And I'm guessing you probably don't because it sounds like what you're saying is, is an ahistorical kind of a pop culture. Maybe, you know, you haven't done your research. And I get that. And I urge you to at least look into some of these things or maybe watch some of my beginner videos um, because white privilege does not mean that you have a great life and that you're wealthy and everything came easy to you. It does not mean that you're happy. It does not mean that you don't work your ass off in three different jobs, killing yourself to barely put food on the table. It does not mean any of those things. It just means that your biggest problem is never going to be the color of your skin. And that's simply what it means. So people have taken in pop culture, some of these terms and they've made them you know, they, they take them from academia and they've morphed them to be just crazy. It's not what white privilege is. Um, and I'm not, I don't, I teach white folks who want to listen. No, it's a volunteer thing. Anyway, um, but I'm sorry you feel that way. Stay if you want, leave if you want. Um, I'm good. Um, I'm not like, I'm too old. <laughs> you can't engage me. I'm not going to like call you names. I, I would never. I'm too perfect. Just kidding. Um, you obviously don't know shit about history or what's going on. All right. I mean, sorry you feel that way. Okay. I'm going to move on. I'm going to move on. Um, yes. And school you. And if you get too crazy on me, I'm going to have to boot your ass out. So just be nice. But what we do here isn't really, um, isn't really, how to explain it? This isn't a debate stage. I just, present this stuff to for white folks who want to listen and so it's not really a debate stage so that's the thing but um a lot of people are posting stuff right now that are getting i call it getting nabbed and you're getting nabbed from um youtube not me they're basically saying whatever you're saying they won't post they're hiding it so i don't know what that's about maybe you're saying naughty things now i'm not i'm not like antagonistic or i'm not trying to be it's just, I've studied this for years and years. I went to school for it. I, I, I even worked in Compton during the LA riots and I was in the riots. It was so scary. Oh my God. It was totally crazy. And so I've had, you know, some experience here and there. I don't hate white people. I don't know all white people. Why would I hate white people? I am white. I just believe in us that we can do better than this. And being racist, being a racist piece of shit is kind of a low bar. I think we can do better because technology's evolved. So maybe humans should too and realize there's only one race. It's called the human race, the human genome project. We are lucky enough to live in a time where the human genome project has proven that. And so I say to white folks, join the human race. 